this brings us to the fifth way we can have a Thanksgiving thankfulness from Psalm 100. Verses 4 through 5 proclaim this. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever, and his faithfulness continues to each generation. In the Old Testament, the temple symbolized, symbolized the presence of God. So, whenever the people came to the temple and entered the courtyards, they knew that they had come into the presence of God. And oftentimes, the place where we meet today to worship God is called a sanctuary, indicating that God is there. Yep. God is everywhere, and we need to remember that. God is with us when we work, and he is with us in our homes. God is with us every moment of our lives. And that's why the thanks is in Thanksgiving. We are thankful for our ever-present and all-powerful God and what he has blessed us with. God has given us an opportunity to be near him and with him because of his love for us, a love so amazing and wonderful that he sent his one and only son here to be with us, to live with us, to know us, and to willingly die for us. So that if we only believe in this incredible gift, we have the promise of the forgiveness of all of our sins and a promise of eternal life in heaven with him. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have given us and all that you have given us each and every day. And all of God's people said, Amen.